Well, hi gang. Today we have one last step to do before uh, we put this on a fire and it's called shaping. And what we're going to try to do now that I have access to the underside of the instrument um, is that I'm going to try to get these notes to have something close to their final shape before we throw this on a fire. Now, the last time I, I built a tinder pan, it was 35 years ago. And it was a fourths and fifths pan like most of you use. And it was, you know, I did a rush job on it. Um, and when it was time to tune it, you know, I had a, just a terrible time rough tuning the thing. And uh, Ellie Manette had to come around and help me a lot on it. But I do remember that my F, my low F, just popped into tune without any effort at all. I, I just hit it with a hammer just a few times and everything lined up and it sounded great. And Ellie pointed to that note and he, he said, yeah, that's because it's shaped right. Look at, look at the shape, look at the shape you gave it. So um, I'm gonna, as much as possible, I'm gonna try to shape these notes um, to what I'm familiar with from an invader pen. That is one thing that I've got going for me here. And that is that I've spent 40 years behind an invader pan and noticing all of the shapes and the curves and where the crowns are. And um, so something tells me I'm going to be reasonably good at shaping these notes and getting them to, to at least look something like their final shape. The tools I'm going to use are my 24 pound, my, my favorite um, hammer that's been ground down. And then this is the handle off of one of my other hammers. And you see that it's been cut on the bias here, on the angle. And this allows us to get inside and work the, the spaces um, underneath where the hammer won't fit. Sometimes you can get in there with a hammer and just do blows like this. But uh, having one of these gives you a second method of leverage to, to manipulate that stuff and pop them up a little bit from the bottom. So uh, I'm going to go to work to try to get this thing whipped into some sort of shape. And, um, Wish me luck. Well, I can't be accused of grooving too deep because uh, I have a little hard time seeing the bottoms of my grooves on the underside, which helps me uh, see where to pop up the, the smaller inner notes. But uh, it's gonna go slow. Well, I'm not done with the process yet, but, but after about an hour of working on it, you can see that all of the notes have some contour in here, at least I hope you can see that. Um, they've all been popped up from the bottom, and that's something I wasn't able to do before I cut the skirt off. And so now I've been able to go in and, and um, pull up all the rim notes and give them a little bit of shape. And then I was able to find these, um, all, of my, all of my notes that are inside the bowl and give them some shape as well. And, and I still have more smoothing to do before we can burn this. It won't take long, but, um, but one thing I noticed was how independently each of the notes have become since doing that stage. And you notice this has been a recurrent theme. Uh, from the very beginning, we've been sort of I further and further isolating the pitches from one another. And this, this action really does it. My F sharp is snapped into place almost, almost instantly as an F sharp. So um, anyway, I've got a, just a little more smoothing to do and we're ready to, to uh, burn this thing.
Well, okay. This thing is, to the best of my ability and experience, this pan is, is ready for burning. And so um, I'm not going to touch it until I get ready to throw it over a fire. And we'll do that next time. So uh, for now, I'm just going to say I hope you're staying safe and that you're taking care of yourself and your family and, and others around you. And just keep remembering why we're doing all of this. And by all of this, I mean staying at home. We're saving lives. So um, I look forward to seeing you again real soon. And until next time, hasta la vista, baby. Ciao.